Like most automatic processes in the body, we usually don't give our respiratory system much thought until something goes wrong. Feeling out of breath after a tough workout is one thing, but you should seek medical attention if you experience lasting breathing troubles or sudden severe shortness of breath. The average human can live around three weeks without food and three days without water, but just three minutes without air can lead to brain damage and death. Here are some conditions that can impede the ability to breathe freely. Number one, allergies. The role of a healthy immune system is to fend off potentially harmful foreign invaders like bacteria and viruses. Unfortunately, an overactive immune system may target less harmful substances like pet dander or pollen, leading to an immune response known as an allergic reaction. Symptoms may vary depending on the specific allergen and the mode of interaction, but common signs of an allergic reaction include throat, lung, and nasal inflammation, coughing, and shortness of breath. Number two, obesity. More than one in three American adults are obese. Obesity increases the risk of a whole host of health issues, including diabetes, MS, heart disease, and cancer. In addition, excessive body fat literally weighs down the body, which can worsen wear and tear on joints and reduce one's ability to efficiently fill the lungs. When combined with inactivity, this reduction in lung capacity can lead to chronic shortness of breath, further complicate attempts to become more active, and worsen other respiratory issues like asthma. Number three, respiratory infection. Respiratory infections are a broad category of illnesses that range from the common cold to influenza and pneumonia. These infections can present many symptoms that may interfere with normal breathing. Such symptoms may include a lasting cough, congestion, and inflammation. While these infections are generally short-lived, severe respiratory infections in infants have been linked to an increased risk for asthma. Number four, exposure to smoke. Prolonged exposure to first-hand or second-hand smoke can seriously damage the lungs in two major ways. First, tobacco smoke harms the microscopic hairs known as cilia that line the airways. Second, smoking tobacco damages the air sacs in the lungs, making it more difficult to take in oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. Plus, beyond the increased risk of asthma, COPD, secondary pulmonary hypertension, and lung cancer, smoking can also lead to chronic cough or smoker's cough and make prolonged physical activity more difficult. Number five, asthma. Asthma is a chronic condition involving inflammation of the lungs. About 20 million Americans live with asthma, which can lead to shortness of breath and wheezing. Like COPD, asthma is commonly treated with a combination of measures, including steroid medications to reduce inflammation and lifestyle changes to avoid triggers. Number six, COPD. COPD is an umbrella term describing several severe lung diseases, including chronic bronchitis and emphysema. While these conditions may affect the lungs differently, they all result in respiratory issues stemming from lung damage. Despite the variety of conditions that can influence short and long-term respiratory issues, there are several lifestyle habits that can help reduce your risk of complications and improve both heart and lung health, like quitting smoking, exercising, managing your pre-existing conditions, and avoiding lung irritants.